forward-facing dog pose, Adirubhuku Savasana. We'll begin in a forward fold at the top of our mats. You can reach your arms up, soft knees, gently fold forward. You can bend your knees to place your hands directly on the mat, shoulder width apart. Step one leg, then the other back, coming into our downward facing dog pose. Here you can start by pedaling out your heels, bending one knee, then the other, lowering the opposite heel towards the mat. Your fit, feet are about hip distant apart, and the weight is equal between your hands and your feet. You always have the option to walk your feet a little closer to your hands, or walk them out to feel more balanced. Begin to press both heels towards the mat. It's perfectly fine if they don't touch. Take your shoulders, draw them away from each other, creating some space between your shoulder blades, and then relax your head. So you can nod your head, yeah, shake your head, no. No tension in our necks here. We will engage our leg muscles by lifting our kneecaps, sending our heart closer to our thighs, feeling that stretch in the back of our legs. And keep your heart open here. You're in an inverted V pose in our downward facing dog, Adirubhuku Savasana. 